Lord us. Giant centipede. Give me a full bite yet. Oh, yeah, there it is. As many of you all know, I have taken many stings. The Metricus wasp, the red paper wasp, Plestes exclaimants, Pocillopompilus algidus, yellow jackets, the velvet ant. This will be my first venomous insect bite. Well, technically, the two fangs are modified front legs with small ports used to inject and grapple prey items or predators. Today I will be bitten by the giant Florida centipede. This is the red bark centipede. Now the red bark centipede falls into a family of myriad pods like roly polies, wood louse, and millipedes. And their evolution stems back from times like that of the trilobite. These are some of the earlier arthropods that can be found in our fossil record. In fact, some of them are up to 500 million years old. But first, I have to go out and capture one of these amazing red bark centipedes. So let's go out there and see if we can do that. research on it and see if it actually is something I need to be really concerned about if I get bit by it or if it's going to be something that's tolerable and then we'll see if I get bit or not. I'm the Florida Wildlife Guy. Today, we're going to be taking a bite from the Swamp's Giant Centipede. Inside of this capsule right here, I have a red centipede. It is the largest centipede found here in Florida. A centipede is quite interesting. They actually have modified front legs that are called forcibles. And inside those forcibles, they have venom secreting glands, similar to a bee stinger. Last time I put this hat on, I took the worst thing I've ever taken to calculate this today guys it'd be interesting to see if this is going to be the one that tops them all this is florida the swamp centipede all right first i need to go ahead and get him with my forceps here he's not happy about that he is wild he's hungry Okay, this is Florida's giant centipede. I'm gonna induce a sting right here, or a bite right here on my forearm. Let's see just how painful that actually is. We call this the Florida centipede bite test. Ready? Where are you going? <laughs> the size of those fang like modified force bulls make me real nervous. I'm going to have to take a couple minutes to compose myself before I actually take a bite from this insect. What a creepy insect. Here, zoom in on those. Right there. Zoom in on those things right there. Well, they're forciples. Those are the forciples of the... Mm. 
Now these forcicles are actually modified front legs. They're, uh, they're used to grapple their prey items. They're actually not considered mouth parts. These are actually modified legs right here. So see, he can detect me with these antennae right here on the front. I don't want him to bite himself, so. Let's go ahead and induce a bite and see just how painful that actually is. We'll call this the Florida centipede bite test. God, he's strong. Oh yeah. He's got his fangs in there. He got one of them in there. Try it again. Come on. I'm not feeling it yet. Now I know they're strong, so when they bite, they're going to bite. It's a creepy insect. Where did it blow on? Ah, oh, there it is. He bit some. He hasn't given me a full bite yet. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. Oh yeah, there it is. He definitely got under the skin that time. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm starting to feel the pain now. All right, I'm going back. But as far as like the effects of that bite so far, yes, this is the worst one out of all of them. All right, y'all, it's been about a one minute since I actually received the bite from the Florida Swamp Centipede. It's actually just the Florida Giant Centipede, but um, you can actually see some swelling on that site where I was bitten right there. And uh, the pain on this one, is it worse than Colossus Carolina? Is it worse than Metricus? Is it worse than Exclaimants? Or any of the other wasp species you've seen me induce things from? Yes, it is far worse. Um, the swelling is already worse. The fangs puncture site was worse. Um, they didn't look like they went very deep in there, but uh, that's all it takes. It actually drew blood, and uh, it does hurt. It's worse than all of the stings. Is it worse than the cow killer? No. But it is bad, and... Uh, it certainly is an insect that you want to be careful around and always take consideration for these insects and these animals out here in the wild because you just never know what their actual potential is. Would you say that the Florida centipede bite is worse than the stings of any of the wasp species I've taken so far? Yes, with the exception of the cow killer. The cow killer does pack a little bit bigger punch and actually has a little more serious of a reaction. Now this centipede didn't look like he penetrated fully and he wasn't willing to do so and I didn't want to harm the insect in the process but he did penetrate deep enough to draw blood as you can see right here on my arm there's the swelling sites and uh, there's two drops of blood where I got my most severe bite and a lot of swelling in that region I'm gonna go ahead and mark the region of the swelling and we'll uh, monitor that as we go that's that from my pen The area of the swelling is right here. So I received multiple bites from the centipede. Um, approximately, it looks like about four injection sites. And the pain, um, I was a little more nervous at first than anything because the pain was different than anything I felt. Um, with the wasp sting, it was a, a stinging, burning feeling immediately. In this case, my arm actually went somewhat numb, and I wasn't sure if that was from nervous tensions or not, but uh, it's kind of the reaction that I got from this bite right here. Um, so I went ahead and circled this, the site where I received the bites. There's actually about four bite marks in there, and I'll zoom in closer on a different camera angle to get that. Um, so when you're out in the swamps or anywhere for that matter, take these insects 
very seriously because they do pack a punch and they are dangerous potentially. You could possibly be allergic to these insects. In that case, I recommend seeking medical treatment and, uh, and only, only deal with insects if you absolutely have to try to avoid them at all costs because some of these insects are harmful. Um, thank you for watching this episode. I'll give you all an update here in a minute. And please subscribe to this channel and we'll keep doing what we do. Thanks again, y'all. When I was a child, I remember my father finding a yellow rat snake in our birdhouse. He told me about the circle of life, and through time I learned about the balance of our ecosystems. Every day a new adventure, a new creature, shows like the crocodile hunter. It became my goal to catch every species of animal possible. Then YouTube came along and gave me a platform. Now I can share with my subscribers. Thanks for your support, it means a lot to me, the Florida Wildlife Guy.